one of the really awesome features of any Zoho a CRM product like Begin is the ability to integrate your email into this product. In order to do that, you're going to hit the gear in the top right. You'll be brought to this page. Then you're going to scroll down under channels to email. Now, Zoho Begin gives you a few options to integrate your email. Zoho Mail, which is their email software. Gmail, which is obviously very popular. Office, Office 365 or other. In this video, I'm going to show you Gmail. And I'll briefly show you Office 365. They're very, very similar processes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Gmail. Then you're going to put in your name. This is what will actually show up if you were to send an email from Begin. So when it hits your client's email inbox, um, it, whatever you put here will show up. So I'd recommend putting your first and last name. Now I'm going to put in my Gmail and my password. And I'm going to hit continue. Now you can see that you have an option here. So first off, server details are kind of hidden for you. You don't need to know all this stuff for a Gmail integration. But this is very important. You have two options, private or public. Private means that your emails will sync in here, but no one else in the company will be able to see them. Public, on the other hand, means everyone will. So most of our clients make it public because that's the idea of getting a CRM system like Begin is to be able to collaborate with other staff members. What the exclude domain means is basically if you were to email a colleague or a domain that you don't want to go in here, put it here. You can put up to 10. So typically what people do is something like that. So they'll actually put blueroot.ca or some other domain that they would want to exclude from all of the email sharing. Typically, it's your company email. And where this would work is, for example, um, if I'm emailing another colleague at my company and I don't want that email to get into Zoho Begin because it didn't relate to a lead or a contact or anything, then I would put that domain here. So many companies put their own company domain. Then I'm going to hit save. Once you actually hit save, uh, one second. Oh, that's why I put in the wrong email. So make sure you put in the right email. That'll help. Hit save. And now you can see it'll start syncing. 